Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Man's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Um, been a couple weeks, so uh, thought it was time definitely to get back to do a review. Uh, I want to do Knob Creek today. It's a small batch whiskey from uh, Kentucky. It's a Kentucky uh, straight bourbon whiskey. And the uh, thing with small batch, uh, I think we've talked about it before, but um, you know, a lot of uh, you know your Jack Daniels old, old number sevens. Um, you know, Jim Beam, uh, just about all your whiskey, you know, um, that's mass produced. Uh, your bottle of whiskey that you buy may be parts of, you know, thousands of barrels of, uh, of whiskey that they kind of just, you know, dump into, you know, one big vat and bottle it up. Um, but uh, this Knob Creek here, it's a small batch, and those, uh, those whiskeys that I mentioned already, they also have their small batches and their uh, single barrels and all that. You know, small batch, it just means uh, this is a, it comes from a, you know, a selected number of, uh, of barrels uh, that make up this bottle here. Um, then you have your single barrels, which, of course, by the name, you know that it, uh, it comes from one single barrel. And uh, the thing with small batches and, and uh, single barrel whiskeys, uh, they just taste a lot smoother uh, to me, um, a lot more. I don't know if I want to say undiluted, but you know, they're, they're not as, uh, you know, you can pick out the, the flavors and the, the scents a little bit easier, I think, than uh, some of those mass-produced whiskeys, um, just because they're, uh, you know, there's not as much going on. I mean, you know, every barrel of whiskey is going to have its own taste. You know, no, barrel, no two barrels of whiskey are exactly the same uh, for the most part, um, but, uh, you know, going down to a, a selected num number uh, of barrels. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a, you know, just a smoother, uh, higher quality product. So uh, that's what we have here with Knob Creek. And it's a uh, it's hundred proof, which is 50% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, I want to read you the side of this bottle here. It says, deep in Kentucky, tiny Knob Creek spills and riffles down through the hills. Like the bourbon bearing its name, there's not much of Knob Creek, but what there is rewards your finding it. So uh, it kind of tells you, you know, um, that uh, you know they take pride in the product, um, and uh, this is actually it comes from um, it's made by it's put out by Beam. Um, same with you know Bakers and Bookers, um, Basil Hayden's, stuff like that. So um, those are all very good products, by the way. If you can find some Bakers or Bookers or uh, some Basil Hayden's uh, at a bar or at the store. I definitely recommend buying them. So, without further ado, we'll uh, crack this bottle open. As you can see, I haven't drank from it yet. I have had Knob Creek uh, several times in the past. It's a very good whiskey, very good quality. So, proud to be doing this one here today. Well, that's probably good right there. All right. I just want to see the bottle a little bit closer there. All right, so um, as I said, uh, Knob Creek. Uh, I don't think I told you yet. Actually, it's uh, it's aged for nine years. So uh, you know the color that you get coming out of the bottle is uh, it's pretty dark. You know, it's a nice medium to dark amber color, uh, maybe a copper um, color to it. Uh, you know, after nine years, uh, the whiskey is going to take on that uh, that color from the barrel. Uh, it's aged in, uh, in oak barrels, you know, so, um, you know, it's definitely taking on that character. And uh, as we'll find out in a minute, uh, that's not all the barrel does to this, uh, this whiskey. Um, you know, it gives it a nice, uh, nice flavor. And uh, let's take a scent, uh, smell. And this whiskey, I mean, the nose on this is great. You know, you get, I get caramel. Um, you know, that sweet corn, vanilla, uh, definitely smell that uh, oakiness from the wood of the barrel. Um, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of good scents going on there. And you can almost, it sounds kind of funny, but you can almost smell the smoothness of this, uh, of this whiskey. It's, uh, you know, it's a good quality product. And uh, I actually got this, this was a steal. Um, usually you'll find this somewhere you know, it, it might even be a little bit more than what we usually talk about on 
on the show, or not show, but on this uh, channel. Um, but uh, it's you know usually somewhere around uh, the high 20s to mid 30s price wise. I don't know how I found this for uh, such a good deal, but uh, I found this at a local liquor store for 23.99, and yeah, I've never seen Knob Creek that that cheap, so I had to buy it. I mean, you're not going to find too many small batch whiskeys, you know, hundred proof, um, you know, aged nine years for you know 23, 24 bucks. I mean, out the door is probably you know close to 26 bucks, which is not bad at all. Anyway, take another another smell here. Yeah, just everything you know. It's got that spice, you know, that little spicy you know rye aroma. Uh, to it, uh, the mash bill on this, uh, you know, from what I read, it said it was 73% corn, 13% uh, rye, and then 10% malted barley. Which, if you add that up, it only comes out to 96%. Um, so I don't know if they just did the math wrong on that. Whoever, uh, you know, uh, put that on, uh, you know, put that down for the mash bill, or if it's you know maybe 4% could be you know grain neutral spirits or whatever. Um, I doubt it with a whiskey like this. I mean, this is good quality stuff. Let's take a taste. This whiskey is just, there's so much going on with it. You, know, you definitely have that sweet corn again, that uh, rice spice, that wood the oaky wood, you know, uh, there's just a lot going on, it's just a, once it hits your, you know, your taste buds, your taste buds, it's just, it's so good, it's all like Will Ferrell and uh, old school, it just, once it hits your lips, it's so good, but that's how I feel, I mean, this is just, you know, it's a good quality whiskey, and, you know, take that first sip, and it just, you know, some of the other stuff, I don't want to say the stuff I've reviewed because it's all, they're all pretty good, but, uh, you know, some of the other stuff I've been known to drink, I mean, they're good, you know, good uh, quality whiskeys, and, and this one just uh, kind of goes above and beyond uh, for the most part. Same with a lot of beers I drink, you know, I, you know, I drink a, a certain beer and just be able to sip on it, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it's good, and then you have something, you know, maybe a little higher quality or, just, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit of a, I don't want to say more expensive beer, but you know what I'm saying, just a, a better, a better beer, and uh, it just, the other stuff, you can't even go back to it, you know, that day anyway, so that's how I feel about Knob Creek, let's take another taste. Just so much so much flavor you get you know fruity flavors too like uh maybe some cherry maybe some uh some citrusy flavors in there you know uh maybe a little bit of orange peel or something but uh, definitely some cherries in there um you know i mean just everything i've mentioned i mean it just it's all there and you know it's not a it's not like a lot of other whiskeys where you just have to kind of you know, it gets lost in the mix. I mean, it's there, but it's lost in the mix. This, you know, all those flavors are, you know, they hit you one at a time and they blend together well. And this makes for a good product, guys. So if you can find Log Creek, uh, you know, they have this small batch here. They have uh, their single barrel uh, for a little bit more, but I definitely recommend getting it. It's one of the better products from uh, from Beam, along with, you know, Booker's and, and Baker's, Basil Hayden's, as I mentioned. So, um Find this whiskey and, and give it a give it a shot. For anywhere from the mid twenties to mid thirties, I mean, you really you will you'll have trouble finding a a whiskey this good. I mean, this is you know this is really high quality stuff, and and uh, I don't know if they didn't know what they were selling me at this particular store, but if you can find it under thirty bucks, I mean, definitely go for it. And uh, until next time, cheers.